Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful beaded hearts pendant. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it by yourself. Here I'm using tubular right angle weave stitch which is useful for so many projects that's why it's a good idea to watch this video and see how I'm making it. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and you will be inspired often usually two times a week and I will be so glad to have you as my viewer. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and maybe subscribe there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 80 beads in silver color, 11 seed beads in red color. Here I use a bale. This is a chain, you could use any type of chain you like. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I used uh, to attach my pendant to my chain. Okay, so now guys I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to do next is pick up four of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I have my four here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. Then what I want to do is make just one more knot to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I have a beautiful cross of four, also called right angle weave. And now I'm going to show you this familiar tubular right angle weave that I showed you in some of my previous tutorials. Okay, so now I have this cross and my right angle weave tube consists of these crosses all the time. Okay, now I take three and as I'm exiting here from this silver bead, I'm going back in circle through this silver and I'm creating one more cross of four but my two crosses share beads, you see. Then I will go through the next silver bead of the first cross that I did, the central cross. And here guys, this time I will take two seed beads. Why two? Because I want to go through two of my beads that are already here of my first and my second cross. Now I will still have four beads and when I pull I have another cross that share beads with my previous crosses. Okay, then I go in my next silver. Now I will repeat what I did before. I'm going to take two silver beads just like this and I will go back through these two silvers. Again I have four beads in a row and when I pull you see I have a cross here that shares beads with my other crosses. Okay and now it is the time when I turn this into a tube and how I do this I just push all those beads to the center of my work. Okay this is my tail thread here. This is my tail thread. And now guys, you see when I push those to the center, what I have here at the front are one, two, three, uh, uh, eight o beads. And here I have at the back, I also have beads, but don't look at them. Just look at those front three beads that you have. If you're doing it together with me, you will see it, okay? So now I go through two of them, I take just one bead and I go back. I take just one because I, as I told you I already have 
three beads and this is my fourth one that I'm adding right now and I just want to reinforce by going around this cross of four that I just did several times you see and now guys I will go here at the top side and you see here I have four beads that are not connected together but if I connect them they will form a cross you see one two three four don't look at those at the back which holes are turned to the center of my work just look at the front four beads okay and I will connect them together okay so now I have this I have something like a cube and all of these cube sides are crosses of four you see here here and here at the bottom and here at the top this is what I have okay guys and now as I reinforce this central four beads from here on I will start another cube like this another element so I will continue my right angle weave tube okay how I do this first I take three beads because in my first step I'm going through one of my previous beads and in this way I form again four beads in a cross Okay, like this okay guys and in my next step I'm going through the following silver bead of this bottom cross of four okay now I take two silver beads in my second step I take two because I'm going through two beads of my two previous crosses okay now you could turn this to the center of your work and you see what you have here you have one cross and one more cross and after that you go through the following silver bead of your bottom cross of four and in my second step you see here I have two beads to the front of my work don't look at those at the back just at the front and take two silver beads and go back through those two and I have one more third side with three beads and when I turn to the fourth side you see just like this here I have let me focus here I have one two three beads at the front don't look at those which whole side are pointing to this side just those three that are at the top of your work okay then I take one and I go back here through these beads in this direction okay just like this then I go through this silver here in this direction and what I need to do is connect those four beads here at the top just pay attention to these four that are at the front of your work don't look at the four that are at the back end which holes are pointing in this direction okay so now guys what I do is that I reinforce those beads and here I'm in a position to start my next cube here I have two cubes one two one two one two you see uh, every from every side I have two of those beautiful crosses from each side and here I will show you one more time how to do another step up in this beautiful beaded rope okay so first I take three silver beads and I go back here through this silver and now I make a cross of four beads you see it here and in this direction this will continue with the rope then I go through the following silver bead just like this and now remember in my second and my third steps I add 
two bits okay so I go back here through these three through these two sorry and I make a cross of four you see I have third cross from this side and when I turn in this direction I will go through this one here the next silver from my bottom cross and I will take two of these beautiful seed beads and just look at those two at the front of your work only at them look at them and go back through them to form the third cross from this side okay and then this is the fourth side and always from the fourth side you always have three beads one two three those three at the front and i go through two of them in this direction and this time i take just only one bead okay just one and then i go back again reinforcing and i want to exit through this top bead here now guys i have four crosses from this side and i'm going to reinforce this cross at the top which is not connected okay guys and i will continue this until i have 10 of those beautiful elements now i have three if you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video up to this stage when you start a new, a new step up and do seven more of those uh, rows and then I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I have 10 elements and how I know that there are 10 elements, I just count the holes here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 8, 9, 10. So I have 10 elements and such a beautiful beaded rope. And now from here on, guys, I'm going to start another direction of my beaded row. And how I'm going to do this? I will take these four beads as my base. Okay. And how I do this, I will show you. I'm taking three silver beads. I'm going back in circle through this one here at the edge okay like this now i have another cross here then i go through the following silver of the same cross that i choose to be my bottom cross so this one this is the first silver this is the second now i'm going through the second and now what i do is that i take two beads like i did in my second step if you remember and as I'm exiting here, you see from this silver bead, I'm going back through those two beads and I'm adding two. So I'm forming the next cross of four from this side. Okay, and I pull. Okay. Now I have two crosses of four. And what i do is that i go through the four through the third sorry silver bead of my bottom cross and here again i take two and i go through those two here forming another cross of four in this direction and the third side as you know is always consists of three beads and these are one two three those three and as i'm exiting here i want to go through the next two okay like this and here don't watch this at the back only the front three beads and i take one and i go here like this and now i form my last cross of four then i go in this direction to reinforce this newly formed cross of four beads 
at this side. You see, here I need to connect those four beads in a cross. Okay. Now I'm going to start a next element from here on. This is my bottom cross and I started from here. And how I do this, you know, first I take three silver beads and I go back like this. Okay. Now I have one of my sides ready. You see what I have from here. Then I go in my next silver bead of this bottom cross of four beads. The one that I use as my bottom. And I take two and I go back here through these two. And I form another cross of four. Then I go at this side. And the, these are two silver beads at the front. You see, don't look these holes here, only the glare here at the front, those two beads. And I take two and I go back here through these two. Again, I form a cross of four. And this is the last third side. And you see here one, two, three at the front. I go through two of them as I always did up to now. And I take just one and I go back in circle through this one, forming another cross of four. And I go in this direction, reinforcing it. Okay, so now you see what I have here. And what I need to do next is connect this side. Okay, I'm going to reinforce this side. Okay, guys, now I have two rows from here, from this central part. And I need to have nine rows from here. You see here, this is my central one. Here I have nine. And here I also want to have nine. And when I make seven more of those, I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video up to this part. And from here on, make seven more elements and then meet me. Okay, guys. And when I continue beading, this is what I have. I have here a central component and nine components from each side. You could count the holes and know there are nine. Okay, so now how I turn this into a heart in this way. Okay, and what I need to be sure is that I'm exiting out of this inner side of my work because when I fold it like this, I want to connect together those most inner two seed beads here, you see? Okay, this one and this one. Okay, and how I connect them. As I'm exiting from this one here, you see this is, here is my thread. I'm going through the other one, just like this. And I go back then through this one, the first one. So there is something like a loop between those two beads, you see, and I pull. Okay. Then after those beads are connected, what I want to do, guys, is connect my next beads. Okay. So I'm exiting out of this bead here. Okay. And here, what I need to do is take two of these beautiful beads. And then I go back through the other one that's sticking out. Okay. And I pull just like this. 
then I go back here through this one and pull again okay and you see here I have another cross of four and I could go and reinforce this one here okay reinforcing it just like this then what I do is that I go at the other part of my work from this side I'm exiting out of this side and here I will do the same thing I will connect those two beads that are sticking out the most this one and this one here okay and how I connect them I take two more silver beads just like this and I go back through those two silvers okay just like this then what I want to do is reinforce this part here now guys here you see I have another cross form that is formed from those beads that I just added and I'm going to reinforce it you see it here at the bottom here I added two beads from this side and two beads from this side that is why I have this cross of four and as I'm exiting from those two beads now I will take one bead and I will go through these other two beads in this direction okay then I go back here through these two I go back through this central one here and then I go here through these ones Okay. and now guys I have this now what I want to do is turn my work like this and go here in this direction okay and from here on guys I'm going to add red beads until the end of this row okay I'm exiting out of this silver and I'm going through the following silver then take one more go through the next silver and I will continue this until the end of this row okay and now I'm doing something different I'm going here in this central cross of four going around like this just like reinforcing it and taking just one red bead and going again in this direction okay then one more reinforcement because I want to reposition my thread and reach here the same point like in the beginning and from here on guys I will do what I did from this side I will add red beads until the end of this row okay I will continue this up to here and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue this here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row 
This is the front of my work. By the way, you could do an edge at the back if you want, but I will do this only at the front. And now uh, what I need to do is my final step, which is to go through all of those beads in this direction and exit at the back where I need to make a loop to attach my bail. Okay. So I'm going in this direction. And I'm turning my work the way it's easier for me. And what I want to do is go here at the back and at this back silver. You see this one here. Let me focus. I'm exiting out of this silver. And what I need to do is take three red beads. Okay, I have my three. And I'm going here through this silver. And here, what I need are six sil uh, red beads. Okay, I have my six. And I'm going back here through all of those beads to form my loop. Okay. And I'm going to reinforce it. Okay, and after I reinforce it several times, what I need to do is make a knot and cut my thread. Okay, and I'm doing it by making here a loop, going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I could repeat this knot several more times. When I'm ready, I go through the following seed bead just like this. And then I cut my thread and my work is almost ready. I just need to take my, my chain just like this and to put my bail here. I will open it up with my pliers. Okay. I'm putting it here, taking my chain and I'm closing it. Okay guys, and now my beaded heart with right angle width is ready. And here is another one that I did in a red color. It also looks really cool. So if you like what I'm showing you here and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. I will be so glad to have you as a viewer and you will be inspired often, usually two times a week. Uh, you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, for more and fast inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.